Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise and worship the Lord. Now close your eyes and if you can possible lift your arms up, hands up, and now we'll pray. O oh Lord, as we raise our hands up in devotion, we surrender ourselves totally and fully to you. O oh Lord, send forth your spirit so that we may be renewed, recreated. Lord, we need your grace. Let us praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise and glory, 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 glory. Oh Lord, we praise you, we adore you and worship you and glorify you, Lord. You are the mighty Savior. Oh Lord, we need your presence. Oh Lord, we need your touch. Oh Lord, we need your graces. Oh Lord, we need grace upon grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the power of the Holy Spirit come down on us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me Let's sing together Fill me with your power Oh Holy Spirit Satisfy my need Oh Holy Spirit come Come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me. me. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. Touch, touch and guide us. Hallelujah. 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 Shara babariya 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 Let everyone be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let everyone be moved by come Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Oh, come Holy Spirit. Fall afresh, Fall afresh on, on us. Me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come Holy Spirit. Fall afresh hallelujah, on hallelujah, hallelujah. me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, touch and help us. Satisfy my needs. Only you can make me holy. Oh, Holy Spirit, only you can satisfy my needs. Nothing in this world can satisfy my desires. It is you, you alone, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. He is present in you and me. As we receive the word of God, Holy Spirit will touch you. He will make transformations in the life of hundreds and hundreds of people. Leave yourself totally and fully into the hands of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, we learn a word of God and begin our prayer session. This is the word of God from Proverbs 25 verse 28 like a city breached without walls is one who lacks self-control praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in other words a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord a beautiful sentence a word of god very clearly says a person without self-control is like a city broken into or left without walls. You know, dear brothers and sisters, in the former days, great huge walls were around the cities. And these walls had a very big door, the main door. And what happens? When an enemy comes to attack the city, the warning was given to the people who were outside the city, in the fields, 
And once they hear the noise or the warning, they used to rush into the city. And once they are inside the city, the doors were closed. And once the doors of the fortress is closed, the enemy who comes uh, to attack them, they find it very difficult to enter into the city unless and until the wall is broken down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, it was very important to say to keep themselves safe they needed a big huge fortress around the city so in the very same way a man he has to achieve some spiritual growth in his life or in her life that person needs self control because it is one of the greatest fortress that gives him courage gives her courage and strength to go ahead Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore the word of God says if you are a person who wants to increase your spiritual life you want to improve the love of God in you if you need to improve your spiritual activities if you want to attain more and more spiritual powers from the Holy Spirit what you have to do you need self control. The brothers and sisters when we come into the Bible we see there are so many people who were very much blessed and anointed by God. They lost their anointing. They lost their friendship with God. They lost their all charisms only because, just because they did not give much importance to self-control. Hallelujah. 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 The book of wisdom, chapter 8, verse 7. Or if one loves righteousness whose works are virtuous, she teaches moderation and prudence. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here the word of God says, the wisdom is the one who teaches you moderation and self-control. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is the divine wisdom. A person who is going according to the worldly pleasures, godly standards, worldly thinking pattern, they cannot have the self-control. The divine knowledge, the wisdom, if the divine wisdom has to teach you and the Holy Spirit will teach you to have the self-control. So, dear brothers and sisters, be sure, if you need self-control, you need two things. First, the Holy Spirit. Second, the wisdom from above. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We live in a world, we say it is a free world. It is true, we are very free people. We can do whatever we want. But at the very same time, a person is given in himself or herself the capacity to control himself. If a person doesn't control himself, if a, a person doesn't uh, control her emotions, it can ruin, it can lead them to big ruin. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The brothers and sisters, we see an incident in the book of Tobit. Book of Tobit, chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. But I kept myself from eating the food of the Gentiles, because I was mindful of God with all my heart. Praise the Lord. He was sent, he was in a place where all his fellow brothers who were with him, they were eating and drinking. But he did not do take the food of the Gentiles. He kept, kept himself alone because he had his self-control. I have seen so many people coming they said, Father, I want to avoid alcohol. I want to avoid the habit of drinking because it ruins my family. It ruins my life. So I said, so what have you decided? Father, I go for retreats. I make decisions. But I cannot withstand after two or three months when I go for a party, when my brother, my friends are eating and drinking, I automatically fall into the same pit. I start again, once again drinking and my life become miserable. The brothers and sisters, you need the grace of the Lord. You need the Holy Spirit to have the self-control so that you may make the abstinence or you may keep yourself away from certain things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The brothers and sisters, with regard to this point, a beautiful message is given in the first letter to Corinthians. We know there are so many big, big games going around the world. 
especially uh, let's take an example of olympics the olympics is a big game all over the world and to in order to win a gold medal in olympics a person has to do a lot of effort he has to make so much of abstinence he cannot go around drinking and eating he has no time to waste he has to work hard and take the practices from 12 to 18 hours per day he has he has no time to go for parties he has no time to do anything else he has no time to waste because he has got a, 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 a aim in his life i want to win a gold medal in olympics in order to that to gain a medal a gold medal in olympics what he does he abstains himself from so many things praise the lord praise the lord in this very same manner the word of god says if you have to attain god you have to keep yourself uh, alone or you have to can have a self control in your life this is what we see in the book of corinthians let us see do you not know do you not know that in a race in a race the runners all compete the runners all compete but only one receives the prize only one receives the prize run in such a way that you may win it so the word of god says you should run in a such a way that you should win the race again athletes exercise self control in all things they do it to receive a perishable wreath praise the lord the word of god says an athlete he make a lot of uh, self control in order to get a perishable reward a gold medal in this world so i do not run aimlessly nor do i box as though beating the air but i punish my body and enslave it so that after proclaiming to others i myself should not be disqualified praise the lord praise the lord see very clearly st paul says i being an athlete in the race to race, get a reward in in the life after death to have eternal life i control myself my body from so many things because i may run the race in the best way possible and i get the prize praise the lord praise the lord so dear brothers and sisters we have to control our emotions we have to control our uh, bad habits we have to control ourselves unless and until we control ourselves we will be uh, neglected praise the lord praise the lord we know the brothers and sisters there are so many incidents in the bible where people who were so much anointed they could not control themselves they did not have self control as a result they were fallen for example we know the book of judges uh, the story of uh, samson he was such a nice person he was an elected person but he couldn't control his emotions and he fell into a trap of delilah and you know what happened his life was ruined he was just like a puppet a person who was so much blessed with anointing he was nobody and finally he has a miserable death praise the lord praise the lord another example we have of david david the greatest king one of the greatest king in israel he had everything in plenty he was really a blessing before the lord and what happened he couldn't control his eyes once he was just walking around on the uh, palace wall he saw a lady taking bath and he he could not control his eyes and as it is what happened he fell into a very big a big sin and it ruined his life hallelujah hallelujah therefore in the book of job 31:1 i made a covenant with i my have eyes. made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman so therefore i shall not look lustfully at a young woman hallelujah hallelujah the word of god says i should control my eyes so that i shall not look a lady with a lustful eye unless and until i control myself these sins will make you or make you and me uh, miserable we may fall into sins praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so dear brothers sometimes you have to control your bodily desires to eat more food to de- to have delicious food to drink alcohol or maybe you have to control yourself by for for using by internet you have to control yourself in using mobile phones all you need a self control shall never become a slave to that first letter to corinthians chapter 
verse 12 says everything is lawful but everything is not useful everything is you lawful but i will never become a slave to anything we need all these things but you shall never become a slave to this whenever you become a slave to this you lose the self control and it will ruin your spiritual life it will ruin your day day to day life praise the lord praise hallelujah lord. hallelujah let us raise hands up to heaven as i told you dear brothers and sisters you need the divine wisdom and the anointing of the holy spirit in order to have self control in your life a person who does not have a self control on your body on your desires on your emotions he cannot achieve spiritual growth in his life in her life let us ask the lord lord give us the grace to control our emotions give us the grace to control our desires of our flesh give us the grace to control our inclinations to the worldly things so that we may become a good athlete who control his body and win the race in the best way let us praise and thank the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 jesus come holy spirit fall afresh on me Oh, Holy Spirit, give us the knowledge and wisdom. Fill me with your power. Give the self-control. This gift of the Holy Spirit. Satisfy my need. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Fall afresh on me. Oh, Holy Spirit. Fill me with your power. is fine my need only you can make me whole give me strength to make me whole come holy spirit fall afresh on me fall afresh on Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So dear brothers and sisters, let us believe that we need the divine wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit to control ourselves. In order to have self-control, to have a control over our emotions, to have a control over the pressures of the our body and to have a control in each and everything so that we may become blessed and we may attain a spiritual growth in our life amen amen of this holy eucharist let us pray to the lord give us new hope 
give us new faith in us we have to be filled with the holy spirit our lord when the holy spirit will come to us we will be able to be your witnesses and the apostles when they were filled with the holy spirit they were ready to go everywhere to preach the word of god today we need the, the same courage and strength lord oh jesus he was the grace to get away from the disease of this world give us the grace grace to crush satan and our feet give us a new vigor and enthusiasm to become your light we need to radiate your light through our lives our lord we praise and thank you oh my dear lord we praise and glorify you lord hallelujah 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 jesus we great play praise your bless you and glorify you lord let the power of jesus come down from above the world will be filled with the power of jesus so that we may be able to continue our mission oh lord you have said you have to be my witnesses before the world oh lord we praise and glorify you hallelujah 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 holy Thank you Jesus praise him Jesus Glory is the land Glory 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 Worthy oh, is the land You are holy Holy Are you Lord God of oh, my Jesus Worthy is the land Worthy is the land You are holy ൊമെന്റ് and all thanksgiving be 